hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Olichimobi Daniel and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this red glossy classic lipstick so it's red classic glossy lipstick so, okay so let's get right into it if you're a returning subscriber thank you for watching all my videos and if you're new here welcome back to my channel so I have three lip stains here Milani classic and NYX so these are the three I'm going to use to achieve the red classic lippy. Okay, so first off, I had to moisturize our lips because you can't go in with three matte lipstick, not even one lip stain without moisturizing the lips. Even if I'm not doing gloss and um, um, matte lippy or glossy lip, I still use lip balm. So to achieve a very flawless application, because this helps your application to be smooth and easy so you must add a lip balm or even a little gloss so first off i use this classic hot flame to define the borders of our lips now the borders of the lip is one thing that keeps the lipstick in shape like if you want your red lip to pop and have this kiss shape you really have to do the borders so neatly so for me to achieve it i use my vika bell flat synthetic brush to define the borders as you can see here my client has um full lips and i didn't bother to really really overline because if she had tiny lips i'm really going to go higher off her off the borders of her lips but i just maintain the same line at the borders so i'm carefully using this brush to define the borders because first of all you have to put the lip in shape using a darker um, lipstick so this is the darkest out of the three lip stains that i showed you guys earlier so after uh, um, outlining the lips i'm going to blend it into the leaves now I love to blend in just to create a very good transition between the, this lippy and the other red lips I'm going to be using. So why reason why I did that is for it to blend into each other. It's just the same way you apply your eyeshadow, you know. You blend into each other just to avoid harsh lines. So just to avoid harsh lines, I had to use this NYX inside her lips. And if you see that I further blended it into the classic which i applied earlier now um i'm sure you guys must be wondering why i'm using the same applicator from the lipstick this is the last of this lipstick i'm not going to be using it again as there's really nothing much inside so that's why i'm using the applicator you can as well use your disposable lip uh, um, lip brush or even use your normal lip brush to do this it will still achieve the same thing but just because the lipstick is almost finished i'm just using the uh, applicator so that i won't have anything left inside or leave it wasted to waste okay so i'm going to use that applicator and further blend into that red lips this is nyx i'm blending it into the classic now you can see there are no harsh lines in between the two lip stains but you can also notice that there are um, the the um the borders are darker than the other part so now this is another red shade that is popping and this one is the milani amor 14 i'm using it to blend and i'm putting it in between the little line i'm seeing between the nys and the classic so i'm just going to leave it there. i'm not going to further put it in the center of her lips because i really wanted the nyx to stay in at the center because the nyx is lighter than the milani even though they look almost the same but i really wanted the nyx to be in the inner part because that will help the lip the red to pop better now the dark part is to make the borders pop so you see reason why i did it this way so um once i apply it make sure that you blend it in such a way that it has a smooth blend and there's no cracks reason why you should use you should use um the lip balm before going in with any of these lip stains lip stains so 
the next thing i did was to clean out the border sometimes i don't do this but when i feel like i need my lippy to be so perfect i use little or no concealer or you can use the same concealer brush you use for the brows to just clean out so for here i'm using um the norban beauty flat brush you, they, you, you can use this to do brows but i'm not used to using flat brushes to do brows but i decided to use this because there were no concealers on the brow con um, brush i used earlier for her brows so i just added a little concealer so when using concealer just use like a shade lighter just one shade lighter or you can as well use her foundation well i love to use um, um a shade lighter because i feel that it help even helps the lips to pop more so i'm just going to carefully clean out the edges you can see that i didn't overline her lips i just followed the shape of her lips okay so this is the finished matte look so you can as well rock it this way or you add gloss so i thought i went to use gloss which i used um the classic clear gloss i just use you can use any clear gloss any anything works so i use classic clear gloss to gloss her lips and i carefully use the flat lip brush to apply it note that you don't have to put so much of gloss just put something that is proportional to the shine that you want the lips to have and i want it shiny i didn't put much i didn't put something that will start dripping later from her lips i just put something to pop her lips so this is a closer look of the lippy and if you love this video please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to watch to know when i post another video so thank you guys for watching this is the finished look